Yeah, but, and as you do, and that that of those like you something that you were saying, I think is very important. Is often people might feel that if I if I tap into this part of me, right? If I if I go into the space, then the emotions and will take over. But actually, your your those emotions and that compassion and the feeling can be much more powerful. But at the same time, you're looking at it from a different perspective. It's not it's not yeah. running you anymore. Right. And and the way I explain this is that our life in the outer world that we witness through our five senses, right? Is the movie on the, on, on the, on the, on the screen. Mm -hmm. Now, when we don't see the separation between our mind, our thoughts and our body, we just believe we're all that. Yep. Now we're in the movie. And so the movie plays a scene called the Ukraine war mm -hmm. and we're completely engulfed in that movie. Yeah. Right. We, we, we can't separate from it in any way because yeah. we're in the movie. Yeah. Well, and this might a little be a little bit deep for some people. Now, that movie is really light projecting a film onto the wall. Mm -hmm. Right. Because that's a movie. That's a movie. Right. Now, the film is all your beliefs about life. It's your mental program, right? It's our, you know, our level of spiritual uh, growth, yeah. right? And if it's ignorance, you're in the movie. When it's vacant, you're in the movie doing bad things because you can't connect with your heart. When you're spiritual mature, you now realize like, you know, I'm actually creating this movie. Mm. It's a movie on the screen. It's still in that sense real, but I am just witnessing the movie. Yeah. And, and when you're at spiritual maturity, you also see like I'm actually the light projecting the film, which is our, my prevailing thoughts and beliefs onto the screen yeah. that I experience as the reality of my life, right? When you're a spiritual master, you have a deep, deep understanding that really you're, you're, you're just the light and you have gained mastery over putting that film in, 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 uh, in the projector that creates the life you wish to see on the screen. And now you can be in total compassion and, and still feel the emotion deeply, but you don't feel pity. Because you also understand the intelligence of life, which is far exceeds our finite mind, that everything is always in perfect order. This entire universe is being orchestrated by an infinite intelligence that is of such vastness, we can't even comprehend it. Hmm. And there's nobody that dies before it's their time. There's nobody that reincarnates in the Ukraine to eventually lose their life. I mean, like we can understand there's an intelligence of life to that that I might not understand it, I can still have compassion for it, but I know everything is always in perfect order because I know the intelligence of life that is the that governs all of creation, right? This is an infinite intelligence that operates in intelligent ways. And so everything we see in the world is an intelligent reflection of this intelligence that creates all of life. Now, that doesn't mean that everything is beautiful because we are free will human beings and this is really where the evolution is. Yeah. And, and people say, well, you know, how do you, how do you, you know, for the pandemic, there's all these innocent people that died and, and you know, I mean, that's terrible. And, and of course, it's tragic when we lose people. There's no doubt about it. But first of all, nobody goes before their time. And many times, uh, and we saw this in the pandemic, um, you know, we make choices over the course of our life that ultimately, you know, we, 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 we harvest the consequences of our cumulative choices in life. It's a cost and effect universe. So, you know, and, and again, I'm not like, I have total compassion for everybody. I'm not saying that anybody deserves it, but you know, if you have lived a very unhealthy life, right? We've seen that 80% of the deaths in the pandemic was people with comorbidities, obesity, diabetes, chronic illnesses, all these things. These are lifestyle related diseases for the most part, right? And then there's a lot of people that were very elderly. Well, you know, there's a transition when you're in your seventies and eighties that is biological. I mean, 
Uh, and, and, you know, the flu or pandemic or breaking your hip can do that, right? So we look at that and we say, well, there's an intelligence to life playing out there too, because we are confronted with the consequences of our decisions and our life choices, right? Yeah. And this is everything in our life. Everything is just a cumulative, you know, you are where you are today because it's the cumulative result of all the choices you conscious and unconscious that you've yeah. made your whole life. Yeah. Now, the problem why people have a hard time accepting that is twofold because 95% of what they've done was unconscious. So they don't feel they controlled it. Yeah. And in a way you didn't, but you still created yourself. And the second part is when you start looking at life this way, now you have to take 100% responsibility for everything that's in your life. And that includes things that we traditionally would say, well, that's someone else's fault. Like someone steals from me, yeah. right? And we say, well, that's not my fault. Well, in the intelligence of life, unfortunately, it's in your life. So there's something in it. There's a lesson in it. There's a growth opportunity in it. Yeah. In some energetic capacity, you created this. Now, this is a very difficult step because you now you have to literally take 100% responsibility of your life. And that is, a, that is a big step. If you would like to watch more videos like this, then please subscribe to my channel below. Once again, my name is Steven Dobos, and you can download a free centering exercise. The information is in the description box below.